guys just taking a little break from work for a minute wanted to give you guys another little update I'm recording this on the little Mobius action cam it's a cheap little GoPro kind of alternative that you can get on Amazon I got it for the Bluetooth camera slider project um, that Noy and Pedro did from Ad from Adafruit um, and I've been just using it for a lot of other stuff just for fun but uh, it's actually a nice little camera and since I don't always have a lot of time to uh, set up a bunch of equipment, having a little camera like this on hand so that like right now I can whip it out and just start recording a video that I have on mine that I'd like to do, well it's kind of a great tool for me so maybe someone else out there might be interested and I can put a link to it in the description. This is a wide, um, wide angle lens basically. So they have, a, I think, at least two, if not three, versions. Uh, but I like this one a lot. Anyway, that's not important. The camera slider project is done, and that one has been really fun. I'll show it to you guys here. Um, I've been doing some time lapses with it, and even more so I've been doing hyper lapses with Microsoft's um, free software. Wow, you can get a trial for it, or there's an Android version. I've been doing it the, with the Windows version gives you a nice annoying watermark but um, anyway so this is it here I've been posting some pictures and some short videos on Instagram but it's kind of nice to see up close uh, you've probably seen the prints themselves in a few different pictures but you'll notice I did um, two different colors just to have kind of a fun combination there and since they were oriented differently I have the stripe going this way on those parts and across the top on on some of these taller parts. I used Matter Hacker's Burgundy Pro PLA, which I think is like the best material ever. And I love the color. And then this is the grayish white. I can't remember what they call it, but um, that's from Melt Ink. That's a really fun color. It just looks like white right now since it's next to such a dark color, but that's what that is. And then everything else is pretty by the book. Um, just kind of follow the tutorial as best as I could with very few um, changes just mostly based on what hardware and screws I could find but it's been working really well I've tried both um, sketches that they have available for it this is the software that just crashed launch it again I have been having some problems but I think it's related to the way that Android um, does Bluetooth LE which is not well by the way but it works just every now and then if you don't use it for a few minutes you have to reconnect and that can be kind of obnoxious so yeah I really like it I think it's a really fun project one definitely worth doing this is an example of a problem that you might run into Occasionally I'll have to turn it off and on because although it pairs it just doesn't seem to take commands so occasionally I'll just do that disconnect and reconnect could be worse um, but everything went really smoothly my um, my prints were pretty solid and I think that helped a lot I did have a little bit of trouble getting this bearing to slide over the top there and I feel like it could be a little bit farther down I might tap it a bit with a little hammer but other than that everything's been great it's oiled up and it's been working really well you can see that yeah so that's great and I'm loving that um, still printing with this fun little teeny tiny printer, the Turnigy Fabricator. Um, this is a fun little acrylic um, 
Bowden extruder machine that I believe matter hackers it makes it or they might have someone make it for them but it's based on the tiny boy design I think they're Hong Kong based nice thing is they use uh, a cool board that's kind of a ramps type board um, which is really easy to work with and it I mean it's not made for this tiny machine so that means there's a lot of unused um, hardware on there which is why I was able to get this um, RepRap discount LCD working so easily. I just plugged it right in, made a couple changes to the firmware, um, and that makes it that much easier to use. It's not the world's most practical printer, but it works really well. Like The quality of prints are really excellent. Uh, it's small, but if you don't mind that, then it's a really great option. And this is more Matter Hackers Pro PLA. I'm loving that. Um, at the moment, I can't really think of anything else to tell you guys. I'm just working on some projects, and I'm going to be trying to be more consistent and frequent with these videos, so stay tuned for that. I kind of do want to do a review of my RigidBot, but um, there's a little bit of a conflict of interest there since I work for them. So you guys can let me know if you would like a review and then take it with a big old grain of salt. Uh, but I really do love that machine, and most of my prints are done on the RigidBot. So let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions for other videos that I can do, and I'll see you guys later.